Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel and to this Chelsea news video. We're going to be talking about a couple of things today. First off, I want to be talking about Frank Lampard's direct contact, reportedly, with Dries Mertens and how apparently Chelsea's approach to the Belgium is considered extremely aggressive, so say if reports from Italy. Also, I do want to quickly talk on Andrea Onana's social media post about how the journey ends at LAX. And what does that mean for him? Is he definitely going? Where is he going to go? Europe? The Premier League? Chelsea. And I want to dive a little bit more deeper into strikers because it is a massive problem for Chelsea or at least Frank Lampard thinks it is. Of course he was quoted in the transfer window prior to this one or this one that's yet to open that he is in for a striker, a forward. In fact he said a forward is on the agenda. So we know he wants a forward. And to be honest man there's been loads of options, well there's loads of players being talked about. I want to run through the sort of biggest candidates and offer you my opinion on those players and who's in for them at the moment if you are to believe world football's media. So a lot of exciting gear to get into today. And if you want daily consolidated football news regarding Chelsea Football Club, you know what you should do mate, you should subscribe to Football Therapy. Why not? It takes a second, hit the bell notifications icon because that is important. And if you want to help me out man, grow the movement, like the video please. Alright, let's get into it. So before we talk about strikers generally, which we will at the end of the video, or certainly the latter stages of the video, I'll be talking about strikers more, let's quickly touch on this Italian report. This is, this is Italian. I started doing this without knowing because Italians do this. Have you noticed that on the football pitch, when the ref blows the whistle, they always do this to the ref. Even if they're not Italian themselves, after they've played in Serie A for a certain amount of time, if you're not doing this, you're not playing in Italy. What am I doing? Right, reports in Italy regarding Dries Mertens to Chelsea. Chelsea's recent contact with the player, his representatives I suppose, have been considered extremely aggressive with Chelsea coach Frank Lampard uh, making direct contact with the player himself, getting on the blower to him being like, mate, Come to Chelsea, it's wicked, you're wicked, I'm wicked, we're all going to have a lovely time, you're going to score goals, and things are going to be good. Drew Mertens, of course, speaks fluent English, so he'll be able to have long conversations on the phone with Super Frankie Lampard. Lampard, obviously, when he was courting Hakim Ziyech, sent him loads of messages on WhatsApp, they were talking all the time, which is nice, he's an open line of communication with potential targets, and that's what we want to see from our Chelsea boss. Now, of course, if you watch Football Therapy, you'll know that I maintain Dries Mertens would be an excellent option for Chelsea. Yes, I'm a bit of a fanboy, but he's a goal scorer. He can play anywhere across the front three. He's obviously a seasoned player. Basically, he's old. But he can be a role model to Tammy Abraham, to the wingers, strikers, wingers, essentially. He's a really good character to have around the dressing room. And he's a big game player, he can score goals. Blah, blah, blah. He'll be on a free, um, and maybe we can give him a two year deal on good money, and he'll just be an excellent sort of stopgap for Chelsea while the young players develop. Right, that's how I feel about Drew's Mertens. Now, there are a few clubs in for him, even though he's getting on a little bit, but he's still in really good shape. And he looks young, do you know what I mean? I wish I looked that young at this age, but I just look weathered. Anyway, point being, loads of clubs are going to be after him, Frank Lampard's after him, he's an option, we'll see what happens. Because remember as well, when Frank Lampard was asked about Dries Mertens, he didn't bat away saying, no, I'm not thinking of Dries Mertens, like he was other players. So there's something there. Anyway, back to strikers in a minute. Let's talk about Andre Onana. He's made headlines today, maybe even yesterday. I can't keep up which day it is. I don't even know what's happening anymore. He posted on, I think it's Instagram, saying, so the journey ends here with an empty stadium. Of course, that could be deciphered as the season ends here, but you wouldn't say the journey ends here when it could be misconstrued. I think he might actually be saying the journey ends here here. I think his time at Ajax might be up. He's probably worth a decent amount of money. Ajax, I think, are getting ready for a rebuild. I think they're going to flog him. I think he's going to move on and transfer somewhere. Now, of course, if you watch my recent videos, the likes of Matt Law, a reputable journalist in football that's close to Chelsea, he reckons Kepa's going to be given a second chance at Chelsea. And I kind of get that. It makes sense in this turbulent financial climate, you can't really be flogging the world's most expensive keeper for a third of the price you bought him for. So what do you do? Do you loan him? Do you keep him? Do you rotate him? 
I still maintain Chelsea will get another goalkeeper regardless, but probably a backup goalkeeper to replace Willy Caballero. Andre Anana is obviously not a backup keeper, he's of starting quality, right? So Chelsea probably can't buy him and have Kepa as well, can they? Or can they? Point being, the stories of Chelsea getting a new goalkeeper won't go away and we're going to have to keep tabs on this and follow the story very closely until we get a better inkling of what's going on. But first, some normality needs to return to football so we can see the admin processes again, whether it's contracts, deals, agents talking a little bit more, we can gain a better scope for any particular movement regarding goalkeepers. But still, Andre Anana leaving Ajax, going to Europe, going to the Premier League, going to Chelsea. Who knows? So like I said at the beginning of this video, Frank Lampard himself, the big man, did explain how Chelsea want a forward. That has not changed, especially with, you know, just nothing happening. Sure, Giri might have an extra year due to the uh, extension triggering by Chelsea Football Club, but I reckon it's probably to flog him. Chelsea don't rely on Michy Batshuayi, Chelsea want a forward. Basically, Frank Lampard just kept saying in January, yes, mate, I want a striker. We know Chelsea want a striker. It's just the main news constantly rotating around the tabloids and football media. Striker link to Chelsea. Striker link to Chelsea. You get it. Of course, it's my job here in Football Therapy to just let you know the headlines rather than telling you we're getting this striker. So I've reported on a lot of strikers. But I wanted to run through some candidates that have been linked to Chelsea of late, strongly linked, and maybe it was of quality that can actually help the Blues. The first one is Dries Mertens. Of course, we've talked about him at the beginning of the video. I think he would be an incredibly good option to rotate with Tammy Abraham for like one year, 18 months or whatever, while Tammy maybe gets some more goals. While also, who knows, maybe Armando Brogia starts rotating in a little bit more, getting a few goals in the cups and then himself becoming a second goalkeeper level. Who knows, maybe even challenging Tammy. Do you know what I mean? That kind of just stop gap but we'll have to see what happens with Mertens Chelsea have to convince him next up Moussa Dembele another player that's been heavily linked to Chelsea Football Club over the last few months obviously even prior to the January transfer window now Chelsea are interested in him so are Manchester United they are also interested in him and recent reports are saying that Newcastle United are also now in for this player this player that would cost a lot of money but if you know what's going on with Newcastle United at the moment they're about to have a lot of money so perhaps they have entered the race to sign Moussa Dembele a player that probably does suit Chelsea as a project but maybe one that doesn't get everybody I don't know, so excited. Next up, Lautaro Martinez, an excellent Argentine striker that wants to go to Barcelona. <laughs> Martinez is a bad boy of a footballer. He's very, very silky indeed. Doesn't score monstrous amounts of goals and of course has played the majority of his recent career in a two with Romelu Lukaku. He's got about £100 million buyout clause. Inter might want to sell him to do a deal to bring some funds in. Would it be to Chelsea? I'm not so sure. I think it's an option. Um, apparently Chelsea have opened talks with the club to negotiate. But I think the player does prefer going to Barcelona to link up with Messi, his countrymen. I think they both want that move to happen. But we'll have to see. It's certainly been... Uh, there's a ball rolling regarding Martinez and we'll have to follow that. And recently, Chelsea have also been linked to our Bamiyang. He's obviously having a nice time in London. Chelsea probably give him decent money. I, I don't know if he'd sign for Chelsea after being the captain of Arsenal. I know Arsenal players go to Chelsea, but that direct move, I think he feels bad for the fans, understandably, they've been through a lot. Um, would he just jump ship like that? I don't know. I mean, I'd love Aubameyang, he's an excellent player, he's a hard worker, he can play through the middle, he can play on the flank and be really industrious on the flank as well, which Frank Lampard would really like. But when he comes to Chelsea for like a two-year contract where you could probably sign like a four-year deal uh, in a span for a Spanish giant, do you know what I mean? I'm not so sure. Chelsea will definitely make the inquiry for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, of course they will, but will they get him? I think it's unlikely, personally. So at the moment, it's really uncertain, the whole situation. Chelsea are desperately trying to get forward, they're talking to loads of people behind the scenes, and negotiations, or at least open talks, are starting to happen, or if not, have been going on for a little while now. I think the likes of Cavani going to Atletico Madrid, personally, even though I think Frank Lampard did really want him, similar to how he wants Drews Mertens, that could be likely, maybe. I think it's probably the perfect player profile in terms of backing up Tammy and Armando Brogia. 
or backing up Tammy, and he's being backed up by Armando Broja, or certainly re rotating with Tammy. Anyway, whatever. I just think it's a good like level of striker. We'll have to see what happens with goalkeepers, but I'm really interested in getting your thoughts and opinions on strikers down in the comment section below. Let me know who you think is most likely to come to Chelsea or who you'd at least like to come to Chelsea. Get down there and express yourselves. And if you've enjoyed the content today, guys, I'd urge you all to like the video because that helps me out a lot. And remember to subscribe if you're new. And if you want to watch me play FIFA daily at 6 p.m. every day, that's what daily means, Head over to Jan's Yard, link in the top of the description, and join the movement. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that is not happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love you, bitch